With all the things we're trying to do, it's all too easy to focus on the negative. But being overly positive can be just as destructive to our mental health. The Tao Te Ching, or the Book of the Way, reminds us of our shared humanity. Here are five timeless lessons from Lao Tzu in the philosophy of Taoism. The Tao is by nature immaterial, yet all the world calls it great. It is because the Tao does not put on appearances that it is great. When a person puts on a show trying to appear great, their mediocrity is soon exposed. The Tao has three treasures, which the wise guard and cherish. The first is compassion. The second is economy. The third is humility. If you are compassionate, you can be truly courageous. If you are economical, you can be truly generous. If you are humble, you can be truly helpful. If you are brave but lack compassion, are generous but lack economy, and trying to help others but lack humility, you've lost the way. Compassion leads to victory in battle and safety in defense. Fortune blesses the compassionate. Compassion comes naturally to us, and it is ideas and persuasion that get in the way. Artificial moral systems and hateful ideologies which alienate us from other people. Trust your feelings, trust your compassion, and things will become clear. Those who talk do not know. Those who know do not talk. The wise shut their mouths and watch their actions. They dull their sharpness, unravel their tangles, dim their brilliance, and embrace the mysterious. They cannot be moved by praise or blame. They cannot be changed by profit or loss. They cannot be honored or humiliated. And so the wise are truly honored. A sign of weakness is someone who can't bear to hear opinions of others that are other than his own, or entertain the ideas of others without getting emotional. They hide this weakness with assertiveness, but they assert nothing other than their insecurity. Embrace the mystery and nuance of life and free yourself from the angst of picking sides. Which is better, fame or integrity? Which is more valuable, riches or good character? Which is more dangerous, failure or success? Overindulgence creates waste. Hoarding invites loss. Those who are content with what they have are not in danger of loss. Those who know when to stop are free to go on. To know what we really want, we must first learn to be content with what we have. How would we otherwise be able to make the right decisions? Those who jump from relationship to relationship, distraction to distraction, and chase status or money never stop to understand why they do so, and if they already have what they want. It is unnatural to walk on tiptoe. Try to elevate yourself above others and you will soon fall. Those who display themselves do not shine. Those who inflate themselves do not grow. Those who assert themselves do not gain merit. The relation of these things, self-display, self-inflation, and self-assertion, to the Tao is the same as fat to lean meat. They are unhealthy excesses, fit to be trimmed off and discarded. The Tao is not in them. We often get caught up in huge displays, in larger-than-life individuals, to the point that we think that this is where the best life is lived. But this is an illusion, a superficial act that just makes us try to be someone we are not, to gain the approval of others. The universe is eternal, and earth is lasting. The reason the universe and earth are eternal and lasting is that they do not exist for themselves. That is why they endure. The wise humble themselves, and because of their humility, they are worthy of praise. They put others first, and so become great. They are not focused on outcomes or achievements. Therefore, they always succeed. Measuring success by how well we meet the expectations of others, such as position, social status, or the size of one's bank account, is to become completely enslaved to others. To succeed is to live up to an expectation, and in such a case, whose expectation do you meet? Yours or everyone else's? Be patient, take things in, and always be yourself. Most of our problems come from too much action trying to prevent problems. Do less, think more, and then when it is time to act, you will be unstoppable. <laughs>